How's it going, guys? Sorry for hearing the fan in the background. So we're back. <laughs> like I explained my Diablo 2 video, this weekend sucked. <laughs> like, literally beginning of springtime when we got slammed. Uh, uh, so there's been... Netflix has been posting some uh, trailers and stuff like that. I've been trying to keep up on them, but I've just been too damn busy with work. And it's just like, when I get home, I'm just tired. And the last thing I want to do is just look at anything that Netflix has put out. But this one I seen a couple days ago before I started working. And then uh, there was another one that Netflix put out that I wanted to do a eventually do a trailer reaction, which will probably be for tomorrow's video. Uh, hold your breath. The Ice Dive. Let's check this out. Four, three, two, Ooh. one. Oh, she you always know says, that's gonna be cool. girls can do anything men can do. And she <laughs> always has to push it further. I halusin tietää, kuinka pitkälle mä voin sukeltaa avannosta avantoon yhdellä hengityksellä. That's still a hell of a swim. Ennätys, naisten maailman ennätys on 50 metriä. Sitä ei ole rikottu ja siitä on jo kolme vuotta. Pystyisin sukeltamaan pidemmälle. 80 meters in cold water, it's a long, long dive. Oh, yeah, There's a reason that. nobody has died this far before. This distance she's planning to swim, it's already that she's hypothermic. Five minutes! Sometimes I think, what if something happens, and then I just drive home by myself and she's not here. One minute! Vaikeita asioita ei kannata jättää tekemättä siksi, että ne on vaikeita. Time. <laughs> yeah, that looks like that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, free freelance ice swimming or diving and stuff like that. Even being hooked up with that, you've seen the distance. That's probably what the distance of an Olympic swimming bowl. You know, but that's like in freezing cold water. You know, and that's not something you can go like, okay, I'm an Olympic swimmer. I'm going to go ice diving. Not going to happen. Because <laughs> one, your body immediately is going to go into shock and you're going to start shivering. And if you stay in there for too long, you're going to eventually, you know, your body's going to lock up and you're going to die of hypothermia and drowning. Uh, yeah, ice diving, that is something that takes years and years of experience to, for your body to actually get used to that cold and that numbness because your heart slowly starts to slow down. So you start shivering because your body's trying to warm you up. And, you know, it's not a skill per se that's for everyone. You know, even people who live in cold areas, you know, are not going to jump into freezing ass water for that, you know. Uh, but as you can see, that she also had someone back in her up too. You know, no script ever, but uh, especially like people who live on the East Coast, polar bears. And I'm not talking about like the actual animal. I'm talking about elderly people who actually jump into the Atlantic Ocean, you know, just for the hell of it. <laughs> you know, there's some brave people. It's like, don't be wrong, I like the cold. You know, it's starting to affect me a little more as the older I get. But doing something like me like that, hell no. Not unless it's like a life threatening situation where you immediately have to jump in that cold ass water you know for whatever reason uh but much respect to her for being able to pull something like that off and much respect to anybody else who actually does ice diving like that you know you're definitely risking your life but i mean if that adrenaline rush is there and you know exactly what you're doing and you have at least someone there to help you out you know hey more power to you and you see how thick that ice is that was at least three to four feet you know, damn. Because if you get stuck under there, just with swimming, with swimming gear like that, you aren't. You're dead. You know, you're gonna be part of that ice and you're just gonna be floating around. But uh, either way, you guys will be seeing this in sometime like around lunch ish. So, but hope you guys been safe, healthy, and sanitized. I'll see you guys around.